is keep your keyword research current. So um, whenever you're doing um, SEO or something like PPC page search, you're you're embarking at the beginning of it, you're embarking on keyword research to figure out which keywords do we want to buy or, or which keywords do we want to show up for. Yeah, or, or work for an SEO. Yeah. yeah. And so um, keeping this current means visiting it, you know, every, quarterly or annually and seeing like what new trends are emerging. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to miss out on any new trends that are happening. So an example, um, a good example, oh, yeah, yeah, Michael, yeah. that we that we've uh, worked a campaign that we've worked together on before is a um, commercial janitorial company. And what we found was last year we, we started seeing spikes in disinfection service because mm -hmm. it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. You had offices that were very concerned about uh, co um, stopping the spread and co disinfecting services. Yeah, and needed and help. Yeah. And so we saw a, a spike in that search trend, right? Mm -hmm. And so what do we do? Well, we start building pages to show up for that organically. We start buying those keywords on the PPC side. Mm -hmm. And we, you would never know that unless you d you constantly right. revisited your keyword pool. Um, and then, you know, making and then like keeping track of that over time. So like as the coronavirus wave went down, those those uh, keywords became less. So it's like always it's always good to know like every industry is always evolving with people searching for things in different ways. Mm -hmm. And so staying on top of how people are actually doing a fresh look at your keyword research is a really good way to um, to just stay on top and not let trends pass you by. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And those trends and every business is different. But I, I think a lot of people fall into the trap of thinking that keyword data is either going to change daily or it's going to change never. And yeah. neither of those is true. It's somewhere in the middle and it's going to modulate based on your business, uh, how, how much your business changes, how often new dominant products or services are entering the market and uh, just how, how much of a sense uh, the marketplace has of what they are actually looking for right. and what they should call it. Uh, but yeah, good, cool. You want to wrap us up? That's it. That's uh, that's episode uh, 57. Be sure to follow on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. And any of the podcast players out there, uh, be sure to subscribe to us for more digital marketing content. So we'll see you on the next one. Yep. Thanks.